Hello to you and welcome to another super quick lesson on Wealth Management Bite Size. My name is Sunaina Bisht and I'm a financial advisor with the leading financial institution of the country. Today we are talking about health insurance. Congratulations if you have already taken a health insurance. It is quite a struggle and a very confusing time for a lot of people. And if you've made that through and if you finally bought a policy, then great. But there are ways of getting a better results from your health insurance. Let's see what that is. Now, you might feel that since you've bought a health insurance, you're already covered and everything's okay. And you know, that's all you really needed to do. Not really necessary. There's still few things that you should be doing in order to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. And there are no issues, no headaches when it comes to making claims because buying a health insurance is a very small battle compared to the war of claiming health insurance. So what are those few steps that you can do to make yourself that you are ready in case of an emergency? Creating a health folder. Now, a lot of us have a lot of documents which are there in emails because we are such a digital world and population right now. We don't like to keep anything in hard copies or we would print something and you know it will be there in one of the drawers or one of the cupboards in a house but it might be all scattered around. So take a weekend and make sure that you create for yourself a health folder for the entire family. So every single health related document can be put in that folder. You can start with printing out your policies, highlighting the date it was issued, the date it is supposed to be ending, print out the health card that comes with your health policy so that it is a ready reckoner anytime you need it and you don't need to go through the policies to find that. Also print out the hospital details that you have accumulated, a little more on hospital details later in this video. Your TPA contact within the hospital, make sure you have that number also and health customer, sorry, insurance customer care contact, very important. Make sure that that's there within your folder. Now, besides this, few other things that you can add to your folder would be the latest health reports, the latest checkup reports for every single family member of yours so that you know everything is accumulated in one single place and at the time of emergency you are not going through a lot of documents which are lying loose all over your house in a drawer or somewhere and there's one file that you need to pick up make sure every family member is aware where this file is kept and keep yourself up to date with the file so review this file once every six months or once in a year to make sure that all your documents are up to date and there is no excess document within this folder now the next thing you can do is create ICE. ICE stands for in case of emergency. This is contact details that you should have on your phone. No, make sure that one of your family members is aware under what topic you have created this contact. Therefore, ICE is actually a very good acronym that you can put in front of this contact. So somebody goes into your contacts and searches for ICE, they will get a list of all your contacts which are supposed to be emergency. So you have your ambulance services included in this, your hospital services included in this, your TPA contact, your insurance customer contact. Along with that, you will also have your family members who need to be contact in case of emergencies. So all these numbers should have an acronym of ICE in front of them or at the end of them, doesn't really matter but it will be a very easily searchable list that's there in your phone. Check out the hospitals that are around your area. In case of emergency, we usually end up calling few people, few of our close trusted contacts and family and friends and ask them for their recommendation for hospitals. Now, it's not essential that they would have been in the same condition that you are today when they opted for that hospital. It is possible that their experience was way back in the history and there are newer options right now which you are not able to explore because this is an emergency situation and you cannot spend too much time researching. So the best thing to do is to search out and research all the healthcare services which are in your neighborhood 
or around your city so that you know them better and you make a much more informed decision when it comes to an emergency situation. You would know exactly which should be your first choice, second choice, third choice. There are few hospitals which have great services, but there are few hospitals which have great doctor feedbacks. Then again, there can be hospitals which have very good TPA contacts. So you need to make sure that you are aware of these three basic hospital services and conditions, things that you will be getting in touch of. Also, know where the blood banks are and how the blood bank facility works. Sometime in case of surgery, this is one point where a lot of patients or relatives feel and face a lot of stress. So make sure that you are aware of what are the bank, blood bank services in your city. Gather all the information on the consultants, on the hospital services, on the billing effectiveness and make a good assessment and keep that as your history that you can review when it comes to decision making. This is also very good information that you can update in your health folder. Lastly, the health card which comes with your policy, take a copy of that, print it out, laminate it and put it in your wallet. It should be as big as your debit card size so it's not going to take too much of time. This is a half an hour job guys and it is very important. You don't want to later on be going back into emails trying to figure out where the document is, look for a Wi-Fi signal or data pack and all that. It is a ready reckoner that should be available and on you at all point of time. Just in case, I hope it never happens, but just in case you are in an accident, if somebody, somebody is trying to identify you or get you to the right place, this document will be very helpful in identifying you. What else you can add along with your health card would be your emergency list. That means your correct blood group in case you have any allergies to uh, say medicines or some certain uh, some certain conditions you can add those details also and have your family emergency contact printed out on the health card the back side of it as soon as possible so these are few small steps that you can do that will make sure that your research is up to date and you can have the best benefit of your health care emergency situations are the worst situations to make any kind of sudden decisions in and these steps will make sure that you are well prepared in advance in case you ever come across such a situation. So I hope this was helpful and informing enough for you and you will put yourself to work in the next few weeks to put up your health folder and your health card and go and start researching those hospitals. Thank you so much for listening to me today. We post videos on mutual funds, insurance, income tax and other wealth related topics. And be sure to subscribe to us and share this video with those that you care for. Also, see our other videos on health insurance like how to buy the correct health insurance, what are the ideas and concepts you should have clear in your mind when you go to the market to buy health insurance, understanding health insurance top up and super top up, how do they work, how are they calculated and which one would be the correct one for you. Also, what are health exclusions in the insurance policy, how they work and how you should be aware of them before you sign on the dotted lines. Thank you again. Have a good day.